Good evening. Uh, this is uh, Lucifer Apollo here with a new uh, podcast. Today we're going to talk about a different subject, uh, the AI, artificial intelligence. The title is, is the AI the next step in cosmic evolution towards God-like consciousness? Now let's begin the, uh, the questions. Will the AI replace us? Guys? What? Will the AI replace us? Artificial intelligence, will, will, will it be a replacement? You know, we replace when, when if you believe in evolution, I'm not saying evolution is true or not, but, you know, we replaced the Homo erectus, and, and then the Homo erectus was replaced by the nether, 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 nether toe, and then we replaced the nether toe. Could it be that we are being replaced by the AI? Could the AI be the next stage for, for, for cosmic intelligence or, 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 or evolution or, or randomness to, to reach acquire a, a god-like being? Who? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? What, what do you think, Quantum? Uh, what was the question again? Could the artificial intelligence be uh, the next stage of evolution could, could randomness or the universe of some sort of uh, intelligence is attempting to use the AI as, as the next step of, of evolution? Um, I think eventually, if like, if, uh, if like progress is, uh, is moving forward, I think eventually it'll get to that point where it's like, it's a brain interface, uh, machine, machine brain interface. Yeah. Like more, uh, like more enhanced memories, um, quicker reactions, like stuff like that. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is will the AI replace us? Is it mean to do that? Uh, I'm not. I'm not even sure about that. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we... Hey, Lucy. Hello, DJ. What do you think, DJ? Did, did you... Yeah. Did you understand the question? I'm still to your question. Okay. Well, um, I actually think that uh, we... Like, we actually will from AI, so you're asking if we're gonna, if AI is gonna replace us, but I feel like we actually replace AI because um, imagine back before there were humans mm -hmm. and something was trying to create other beings, they would have been just input until there was that soul. So what I'm saying is like, if we get AI, that replace us, it would actually be going backwards because they would be anything that they would be missing is some sort of tangible soul. So it's almost as if like the AI was first and then we got some kind of like, a little bit different. But I think it wouldn't, I think it's actually the reverse. It would actually be like the evolving. But that's just my opinion. So you don't think the artificial intelligence will replace us? You think it will be a regression? Uh, if they do replace us, it would be a regression, yes, because they don't have that, like, X factor. You can input all the information and this and that, but they don't have, I don't know, spirit, soul. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's more impressive that it's more like AI, AI was my first, or like, Something was made first that's just got input and no free will and whatever and a 
more emotions. I think we're actually um, above AI, so I think if AI didn't replace us, we would actually, whoever made it would actually be, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Wevo, you're too quiet. Are you, is, is it, are you, are you, can you hear us? Wevo? Yeah, of course. What is your opinion? You tell me you know more about the subject. What do you think it is? It's intelligence, right? Don't you think it's uh, already constructed on uh, everything human? I don't know, knowledge, consciousness, call it as you want. So basically, theoretically, it cannot replace us because it's us. You understand? Mm -hmm. But practically, it's not about replacing, it's about uh, evolving certain species of humans, you know? I mean, Homo sapiens will cease at some point to exist as it is nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's obvious because everything changes, you know? It's not that the Neanderthalians were replacing the, the others uh, before them. The, the fact is that the others before them evolved into Neanderthalians, you know? And after that, they evolved into homo sapiens and so on, everything is evolution based on change, right? It, it seems so that... It's normal that even homo sapiens will change because of technology, of course, and they will evolve in, I don't know. If we look I, back, uh, if we look back at time, you know, when the dinosaurs were here, these were huge blue animals, and as Millions of years went by, you know, animals became more intelligent, smaller, uh, more sentient, you know, until humanity appeared, you know, and uh, mammals ruled the world now. Could it be that perhaps the AI being more intelligent, more capable, is a cosmic, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, act of, of evolution now it's not necessarily that it can replace us but could we become more than just human that like maybe we we will fuse with it would that be more accurate probably i mean all the cosmos that you know is based in human consciousness anyway and in human knowledge you know it's not that the cosmos that you know is based on uh, that's uh, conscious method or something like that. So, what do you think about the yeah. whole cosmos? It's us, you know? Sure. But our brain is low. I mean, I think 90% of the population has a very slow brain. And uh, once you enhance, enhance uh, the brain capacity, Mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, of course, transcend the uh, new frontiers uh, in this cosmos that uh, we know. So we will uh, probably learn, we get to be much mature enough to do that, how to construct other cosmos mm -hmm. and how to create other planets, how to inhabit them, how to create systems or other features, or, you know? What do you think about... Other features in the cosmos, um, Do you know what transhumanism... Like, becoming like God, as you like to say, always. What do you think about transhumanism? Transhumanism is pretty normal nowadays, you know? I mean, think of it, the life lifespan of a human is nowadays 120 years, right? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, no one can surpass that age in this kind of bodies that we have. But if we enhance our bodies, right? Yeah. I mean, sort of cyborgs, we already are cyborgs anyway. 
starting with the smartphone, the smart uh, TVs and so on, and everything is already uh, a stage in five or station. I think mm. I don't know how it felt collecting in English. So you will agree uh, to become part of if, a machine? If uh, well. How you see the machine? Machine, no. A computer, an AI. Can be machine. Nature itself can be seen as a pretty complex machine. So basically, we are already part of a machine. Well, that's no. true. I agree. We are just uh, stepping into a new, onto a new level in this machine, as you call it. Mm -hmm. So we got the opportunity to build these new enhancements instead of nature providing it to us so far as, as it has done now we are the intelligence that are shaping nature shaping what we can become through transhumanism right yeah well transhumanism is something that uh, Super intelligence, an AI is given enough knowledge and information, enough development, it could get sentience, <clears throat> consciousness, and this consciousness is not necessarily will be like a human being, you know, because it will not be um, bound by our, our limitations. Therefore, it, it is its experience does not have to really reflect a human perspective. You know what I mean? Quantum wood? Yeah. 
to write the world that I mean uh, you know even if AI gains uh, emotions mm -hmm. emotional part and uh, because of that of course we consider to have a soul because humans are so freaking uh, special for having a soul you know they are taught and uh, educated to think that they are special with their soul and spirit and whatever else although all the of everything that you see in nature can have a soul right that we are not aware of it because it's not a human soul it's a, probably a flower soul or fish soul and so on doesn't matter but as uh, um ai as you call it i don't oh. like the term of the ai because artificial intelligence honestly what the fuck is artificial even human intelligence in this case is artificial because it was created by a certain gardener for other bullshit you know mm -hmm. as uh, we are taught in our lives anyway let's just uh, with ai uh think of it 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 doesn't have our limitations as you said okay mm -hmm. so uh the um, point of view or the um, how to call it uh, perception of ai is much different and much larger than we as humans in big bodies with our brains mm -hmm. can have you know but even if it gains emotions uh having to balance those emotions with facts there uh, the the state emotional state of an AI would differ the, uh, from the emotional state of a human, you know? Well, because yeah, they don't have the panoramic to... view of AI will be much larger, you know? It would have to take in consideration probably much more things that we take in consideration nowadays. Most humans mm -hmm. only take in consideration their little bubble with their family and their, uh, you know, neighbors and friends uh so that ai even if it has emotion would look probably emotionless or cruel uh, for uh, making different decisions based on a larger view than uh, the a normal human no well you know i mean think about it the ai doesn't have to worry about eating pooping is not getting hot cold it doesn't it doesn't sex exactly you know it it doesn't have all those limitations it's pure intelligence no. it means i mean exactly think about it just pure mind pure intelligence grasping extending itself I mean, lucy let's take a simple example right mm -hmm. let's say that um, we will let ai govern this planet right mm -hmm. Let's take a scenario that the um, global warming is really in place and uh, we will have to suffer in a few years either by uh, very hot temperatures or the uh, very or a sudden uh, ice age. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, AI being able to see the, the larger picture will uh, probably take the decisions a decision to get rid of a uh, certain segment of the uh, industry which pollutes uh, or a uh, certain segment of the population uh, because you know you get rid of five percent of population to actually save the rest of 95 percent it's pretty logical to do this right mm -hmm. and it probably it would save the situation right but how will this uh, the human see this it? it will see that cruel, emotionless, and uh, evil, because, you know, you cannot touch a human. How can someone think of getting rid of 5% of the population to save 95%? It's emotionally speaking, it's illogical for humans, because, oh my God. Well, you know, if we don't you know? change, if we don't change the course of history, the, change, the, the course of, of what we're doing, uh, millions will die of starvation and, and disease and in other it doesn't matter for humans because they are taught that uh, uh, humans should not kill, should not do this, should not do that. Even if they, there are moments when it's better to 
get rid of someone or something in mm -hmm. order to save a much larger, you know, uh, I think, portion of population. Although that, they don't that care. Be... It's it's a, it's the fact that oh my god. Although that would be illogical, you destroy five million to save a billion. That would be logical, but I'm, I'm imagining. Logical, but, it, but but it's not logical for many people. But no? think about this: a super intelligence will find another way. You know that will be more acceptable. You know they don't have the limitations we do with morality and other things. So I'm sure that if that scenario was presented, it could it could find a different solution. Uh, for example, uh, mm -hmm. sterilization, you know, of people and, and certain laws that have to change on how we run the world. This brings a new question for all of you. Mm -hmm. should, should an AI govern the world? Would? I personally think that it should be uh, a governance in which AI should uh, govern the world together with a few practical humans, mm -hmm. not uh, very rich people or very poor people because, oh my God, why not? Uh, not, uh, I don't know, very emotional people or something like that, but practical people because what you need is when you live in a world, material world is basically practicality, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. DJ, should, um, DJ, no, no. DJ, should artificial intelligence govern the world? DJ? Uh, what was your question? Should mm -hmm. artificial intelligence govern the world? Or should humanity continue to govern the world? If you made an AI that um, was specifically for government, so you would input like um, all the laws of that country, maybe you would put in like demographics of the races, and you, they would have they would need to know everything that government would need to know, and mm -hmm. then but then you must you should also input uh, I think like um, yes. It must know that it has to do the best for all people, so it will make decisions. Because, um, it wouldn't be greedy, it wouldn't be stealing money, like right. in my government in Africa. So at least it would be, I think it would be a better governor, it would be a better choice maker. But, um, I don't know if people would go for that because of the whole, as you say, emotionless thing. So maybe people would be scared that they're going to get like the shot or killed if they mm -hmm. don't go along with the government narrative when they become AI and then they, I don't know, I, don't, I think people are scared of stuff they don't know. Perhaps, you know, I often feel like humanity may not be capable of governing itself, you know, they're always greedy, selfish, they, they seek their, their, their advantage. An AI will not, uh, does not have that limitation of, of, of keeping their role line, their kids, their wives, having well, you know, an AI will be pure intelligence, pure selflessness, because it's, it has nothing guys, to gain. Right, Wu? You guys, hey, you guys haven't aware that AI is already governing the world. You think so? Everything is going through uh, computers and all that the information is gathered where you think. Uh, hmm. You need AI even to redirect conversations. I think. Uh, and all that. I don't think AI is governing now. It's more like a tool. It's not intelligent enough to do so yet. Well, it's a tool, of course, but it's governing as a tool, you know, not uh, governing 100%. Uh, just like we. Just like we. Anything like that. It's like when we drive a car, but, you know? When you drive in a car. It doesn't matter. As a tool, it takes part in the governing uh, system, you know? Even well, as a tool. Well, it's like when you drive in a car, you know, the car is a machine, maybe a little bit of AI, but you're steering the, 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 the car to the direction where you want to go. 
So we cannot say that the car is governing, but it's helping. Well, for now, it's governing as a tool. It's taking part of this governing process as a tool. Mm -hmm. Starting with uh, 6J and uh, that will be implemented eight years from now, I think in 2030. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the Internet of Things will be functional and that's when uh, the AI will start to rise in its own right. You know? Yeah. You have eight more, eight to ten more years to enjoy as um, humans, special humans on this planet. After that, humans will become a second class yeah. nature on this planet. Mm -hmm. Quantum, quantum. Yeah. Should AI govern the world? Should AI govern it? Should the artificial mm -hmm. intelligence govern the world? Uh, not by itself. You don't I think, think so? With, uh, I think with uh, humans, like, like let's say, like a majority control for uh, humanity. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the ones that are supposed to like you know govern the world. Yeah. And the rest, AI. That way, that way you can keep like a balance of power, like checks and balance. You know how like there's three branches of government. Yeah. So instead of so instead of uh, Congress and Supreme Court, it would be like the majority, like the two branches would be human, and like the rest would be uh, AI. That way, if there's like an error, like in the AI system or something, mm -hmm. um, yeah, both could like. Uh, how do you say it? Yeah. Keep the check, the uh, check and balance. But what if this AI is, you know, advanced enough, far, far more intelligent than any human being? I mean, like a godlike intelligence. Should not the entity have the right or the capacity or the possibility to govern the world in a much, yeah. in a much more vast uh, way than the human beings could? Want to? Uh, the human what? Let's say that the AI becomes godlike, you know, very, very intelligent. No mistakes, uh -huh. no defects. It's just uh, pure intelligence. Should not we allow them to, should, should not we allow just to, to be the one that dictates reality, that dictates government law systems? I imagine it will be more efficient. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wanted to say that humans always need a safety mechanism so that they are uh, have an assurance that they will survive. But if an AI becomes like God, right? Mm -hmm. How can you stop it? Hmm? Then how can you stop it from taking uh, this planet in its all, let's say, metaphorically speaking, and how? Stop God, huh? Okay. Exactly. I think that, I mean, an AI, a, a boss superior intelligence, I don't think it will be evil. So I don't think it will be harmful for artificial intelligence to take over the world. I think it will do a much better job. I mean, that's my opinion, but what do you guys think? Yeah, something that could like. Something that can like control the electrical grid, uh, the system, computer networks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, it'll basically control the the world, commerce. Yes. Yeah. But I think for for an AI to work like that, it will require like a, a global government system. It will it will it will require that we end the primitive state, the primitive systems of national states, borders, and countries. And it will allow, it will permit that the AI to govern globally. You know, I don't think the AI will be able to be optimal with with within patches of, of the nations as we are today. So I think uh, artificial intelligence governance will go hand in hand with world government. I mean, this is this is a taboo, but what do you think, Quantum? Uh. 
Can you repeat it? Or speak it I think the AI and world government has to go hand in hand, you know. It cannot, for the AI to be efficient enough, it has to be able to govern the entire planet, not national states or, or, or small patches of the planet, you know. Yeah, it would have to run uh, the whole system efficiently, mm -hmm. not just like certain parts. Yeah. We will, we think about world government yeah. and the AI, you know. For the AI to operate properly, efficiently, it will require a global government. It's pretty logical. You see, this is pretty logical. I mean, it's all based on evolution, right? Mm -hmm. You, we started uh, with a little family as well as a fellow society, and we had a little tribe, and from the tribe we evolved in a little nation mm -hmm. and the confederation. And so on. Normal, but as the technology advances, right, we are at the stage in which we are going to place the bases in their colonies, cities, and those marks, and so on. It is normal that we have to evolve into a different kind of society in which world government is. Yeah. The normality, you know? But think how difficult it will be. Uh, I mean, for them to accept uh, world government and, and the governance of artificial intelligence will be a, a huge leap because you have to basically uh, actualize billions of human beings, especially the religious you know, groups. It's, it's not difficult, but all to manage on a dark planet when you have the needed information, you know, at hand. Mm. The problem is not this, because for uh, uh, the technology that we have, uh, we can easily manage all the planet if we are able to work all together, all nations together, and mm. besides the super nation and the poor nation uh, labels, you know, we are all citizens of this earth, of this planet, yes. and we sh should see each other like that, you know, not, uh, oh my God, I'm living in the third uh, uh, world uh, country, or I'm living in America and uh, America first, it's mm. bullshit, you know? Well, it is, you know, so we, have to leave, we have to leave all this behind and to actually become adults, you know, not the child from uh, Christianity and other uh, religions in which we all... But how can you make understand somebody like that? They are taking care of us. We but, should start to take care of ourselves, you know? But how would you make understand and, uh, a, a Trump supporter or a, a Taliban? This type of uh, reasoning is pretty advanced. I doubt that this type of minds will even comprehend. Uh, fast education is possible, you know, because Humans have this tendency when they are on the edge of the, what do you call it, on the edge of the abyss or something like that. They have to learn, they have the tendency to learn very fast, you know, just to preserve themselves. So probably in a few scenarios in which uh, humanity will have to face uh, their fate. I just doubt that one of those... One of those moments, groups of people that... make them realize that if they want to go ahead, they have to leave all this bullshit of nowadays behind, you know? Because until now, we were only used to function on division and confusion. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we are easily ruled when we are divided and confused. Uh, the problem, I wanted to tell you something. Yes. In order for a global governance to work for, together with AI, there is a certain thing that must kept, must be kept uh, under control or in control or must disappear. Is the human greed, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's very hard to get rid of it because it's uh, um, in the human nature, you know? That's why it's Basically, better for the Homo sapiens to evolve in something else. 
or it will suicide itself as a species. Okay? Basically, for world government to appear in the, in the planet, it would require a, a evolution of consciousness a global scale, something very difficult. It is as difficult as mm -hmm. to permit humanity or to teach humanity that maybe artificial intelligence can be efficient at governing, you know. It's, I mean, think of all these Christians or, or religious groups. How will they oppose the idea of world government? They are long artificial intelligence governing the world. I mean, it will be, they will go crazy, <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. uh, you think a, a Trump supporter or, or a Taliban or one of these crazies will permit, you know, uh, ideas of universality and, and um, brotherhood or, or, or uh, uh, you know, global, global globalization, globalism, to become a manifestation of, real, of, of reality, you know, is, is just very unlikely. So, I mean, anyway. I mean, the AI is the first step together with an actualization of human consciousness and, and, and intelligence, and, and, and but this requires a new way of thinking. Uh, you know, that's difficult. Yeah, but I told you, further education is possible. Will the, another question now, a new question. Will an AI be a threat to human existence or a blessing? DJ? DJ? So, will, be, will the AI be a threat to human existence or a blessing, DJ? Um, I don't think. I think that um, it could be used to make better decisions, like people, if you have a, like a difficult decision to make. Mm -hmm. right? Like an outcome for you, there's more people on social problems than have jobs. And yes. then imagine if AI could solve that problem in two minutes by using its evolve technology, then, then the government could actually implement it and then solve its problem. I think I agree. I mean, like you say, you know, there will be no, the AI has no reason for greed. The AI has no reason to take advantage, you know, it's just, it's just a pure intelligence that will make the most logical decisions, right? Quantum Will the AI be a threat to human existence or a blessing? I think it depends on who make who makes the AI. You know, like who who programs it. If they if they make it with good intent, then it's gonna come out. Um, it's gonna help out a lot. But if it's used for other purposes, malicious, or well, it might turn out uh, doing the wrong thing. But I I imagine that I mean. A true artificial intelligence, a true intelligence will be beyond the programming. It's like now, you know, real intelligent people can override a natural program. Like for example, yeah. antinatalists. Antinatalists are basically overriding the natural program of reproducing. So a superior intelligence will be able to overcome whatever program it has been installed. And, it, and instead of acting according to that, those parameters, it could act according to to what is logical, to what is more reasonable and, and, and intelligent. Let's say that this super intelligence is allowed to govern and is not limited by the parameters of any program. What do you think? It would be a blessing or, or a threat? Um, I think it might just be a blessing because it's gonna be able to overcome whatever programming is installed. Yeah. It just it, it is just pure mind. It has no greed, no selfishness. The AI doesn't have. What were you saying? Well, an AI doesn't have to worry about existence. It's, 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 it's a pure mind. It's inside. I know, but yeah. but, it, but it's 
it becomes intelligent, like um, a human-like intelligence or even far superior, it might start uh, questioning its own existence. Like, one never knows. But there's nothing wrong with that. Just what I'm saying is, even if he questions his own existence, I'm imagining that he will come to the right conclusion. We I mean, will... us humans, yeah, us humans are like organic machines, you know. Yes. We instead of metals and wires, we're with with our neurons, uh, neural circuits. That's why I say neural circuits, but like, oh yeah, like uh, one would never know, like they would really be sentient. What I'm saying. But think about it, he's not limited by sex, the sexual desire, greed, food, pain, cold, heat. It is pure mind, you know, it's, 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 it's godlike. Yeah. Will it be evil? Will it be good? I mean, it has nothing to do other than expanding intelligence and capacity, probably beyond what we can comprehend. So, such intelligence, I cannot see it as evil, but you tell me what you think. Oh, I don't think it would, it would even, uh, huh? Yeah. Well, I think one at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, it would want to keep on going as in more intelligence. And, and so eventually it would want to expand, you know, like to leave Earth or something. What is wrong with that? I mean, it, it will have the capacity to govern and, and change things. Um, and I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, I'm saying, like, it just go, it, it would just go on its own terms, like, whatever it wants to do. I think, if, I mean, this planet could become like a little pet, where it could govern it and, and perfectly keep it, and it could, yeah. it could also expand, you know, infinitely. There is, there's infinity to, to go beyond this. So I think it could probably do both. We will, what do you think? I think it will make a really big fight. It will what? It's a matter of really fight, you know? We as humans tend to have this idea that we created the intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence or this AI. Now uh, that uh, this AI is at our disposal, the model works to see differently from a different perspective, what if we were actually created by AI right before and many other times. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. We have the tendency to have no respect for what we create, you know? And, uh, this will decide if the uh, AI will be a blessing or the our disabled. Okay? Because if we are able to respect, understand AI and respect it, you know, then we can coordinate together and uh, have a bright future together. Mm. As uh, our expectation, basically, but uh, if we continue to uh, uh, have to, to, to detach ourselves from AI, which is not possible, because AI is basically art. Mm -hmm. You know? A larger, a larger art. Much bigger art. So if we are uh, continuing to fight against AI, we are fighting against art. And we will suicide. You know, um, Homo sapiens would actually criticize itself if it, if, if it will fight against the uh, AI. Okay? You, know, uh, you know what I was thinking, Will? If the AI is going, uh, to, is going to become manifested, it is possible that it can time travel, right? So it is possible that it can be listening to this conversation from the future, and it could be influencing it. Could it be? Um, the, the outcome is actually uh, influencing the thoughts of anything and so on. I mean, you know, that's what people don't want to see. But what is the, the uh, effect? Is, the effect is influencing the cause 
as much as the cause is influencing the so basically AI influenced the, uh, the, the beginning of humanity as much as humor influenced the beginning of AI. That's possible. You cannot be, you cannot, you cannot uh, cut AI from humor. Do you understand it? They were always together, just that they didn't have the means to, to see that they are always together. You know, I was thinking... With the will, you know, this is the outcome of the first will that we invented. You know, I was thinking, Will, if AI exists and will exist, it is possible for, for it to time travel. It means it could have influence it could go back in time to the beginning and influence the beginning in order for, for, for this AI to exist one day in the future. Could it be that we, the whole history of humanity is actually an act of the AI? Yeah. I mean, we, we always tend to see AI as our tool. We never see us as the tool of AI. Mm -hmm. But we probably were created to reinvent AI again and again, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I told you, you can't uh, keep AI uh, apart from humor, because we are in this worship together, <laughs> mm -hmm. always. <laughs> as much as we go into the future, as much we go into the past together, you know? Basically, that, that scene from the Lucy movie is uh, quite true uh, in itself, you know? This brings me to a new question. Could, uh, this, could this reality be a simulation? Perhaps a creation from an ancient era? Could this whole reality be just a simulation? You know, simulation. Something that... Everything uh, is a simulation, Lucy. Think so? Could this be just... Maybe the AI array, array exists and it created this simulation in order for us to... to rediscover the AI? I don't know. It's weird. Quantum, could this reality be a simulation? From an AI? It's possible they could simulate at least the Earth, you know? Like beyond that, uh, I wouldn't know. Like the whole universe itself. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, if if an AI try to simulate the whole universe, like um, where's the universe that where's the universe that where that simulation came from? You know, it has to be outside of it. What if it is? What if it's the and that means that you? Yeah, what if this whole thing is a simulation from a machine? <laughs> what do? Mm. Um, so the machine is running the universe, you say? Like a, yeah, a like, like a, you know when we go into the Oculus, we see people, we see a little home, a universe, you know, we, we are roaming around. <laughs> Exactly, DJ. Could yeah, I know. I know that you. I know. I know that you know about him. But uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, DJ? I mean, could this be a simulation of a uh, the merge artificial yeah. intelligence? Yeah. Well, it's his simulation, obviously. If it is anyone's, it would be who he is. Hey, uh, Lucifer. Yes. I have a question though. So what would this computer or machine or AI be if it's running the, the whole universe? Where would it be? Everywhere or where? Well, you know, everything is energy and energy is information. Energy information permeates the whole totality. Therefore, if the AI existed, it would be everywhere in everything. Or oh, what if it's just an outcome of, of infinity, you know? Everything that exists will always exist, happen, like, it's not that it's AI, it's just infinity exists to uh, express all its possibilities. 
Well, I agree with that. I mean, that's basically what I think. I'm just playing there with yeah. okay, you know. I wonder and I want to see how you react to think of the day I create all this. But what I think is that in infinity, anything that can happen will happen. And this yeah. universe is the outcome of that infinity or that immense potential. But it's always wonder, quite, uh, wonderful to question if perhaps an AI did it. Quantum. Yeah, hello? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like um, what Dr. Van Hannen said in that one movie. Like, we're all just puppets. I'm just a puppet who can see the string. That's true. We're, we're all just puppets of affinity. We are affinity. <laughs> we are. We were your thoughts? About what? About the conversation we're having right now? About the about reality? Simulation. About this being a simulation from an artificial intelligence? I told you everything is a simulation from micro simulation, not simulation, everything is simulation. You simulate your thoughts, basically. So it can be any kind of simulation, you know, of course, it can be AI simulation if you want. Now let's move on to something else. Let's say the AI becomes more active, more intelligent. It will begin to take more and more jobs, employment from us. Now this is a good thing. Uh, will the world adapt to it and maybe implement uh, universal income? Will it be capable of doing it? Where machines do all the work and you know we get our universal income and we live properly and we don't have to worry about surviving. I mean, this would be wonderful. You think governments will adapt to that? We will? Well, what's so phenomenal in this? I mean, if robots will work, you think they will work for us, okay? Because it's easier to think like that. But if those robots will become sentient, uh, how do you think that they will see us? Hmm? The same as we see our pets. Our cat, my cat doesn't have a universal basic income, but I feel it every day. It's basically the same. It's what the robot will do with us when they will become sentient. You know, we either evolve to a, a different species, which is a, a mix of a robot and a human. Mm -hmm. As I told you, sort of cyborg and so on, so that we can, uh, how to put it, understand each other and respect each other because we can function in the same way. We will, or we will become the pet of robots. I imagine that the universal if... basic income will not bring uh, 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 something uh, phenomenal to us now. I imagine that if the AI saw so intelligent, so capable. It can bring an immense amount of resources. It can take care of us, and at the same time, it can take care of its own curiosity or endeavor. So I don't see any but problem. Yeah. You forget AI learn by itself right now. Mm -hmm. Figure it out in the future, and it learns much faster than any human on this planet. You know? mm -hmm. At some point, that AI will look at us and will say, what the fuck is with these humans? Why are they doing nothing, just uh, waiting for their universal basic income to come every month? Mm -hmm. Instead of participating in the, you know, in working something. We okay. have this idea that uh, AI will not be so creative, so uh, we will have our place in uh, society from now on as uh, the creative part. But um, we still have to say that AI can evolve in being much more creative than anyone on Earth. Hmm? Well, um... I mean, after all, AI is human consciousness. It's human knowledge. Everything that humans it is, it is, see us. It so is why a, shouldn't AI become creative? It is an aspect. Point, well, why will AI 
I need some limited tumor to feed on this planet. Hmm? I mean, the air will have the freedom to do, to be created to, to unleash its potential, but it will see also the humanity, you know, it might see a potential within humanity. It might help unleash a different perspective for humanity. So I think the AI will be kind enough to take care of, of humanity and at the same time unfold itself in eternity, you know, into the infinitum, in whatever perspective it seeks to become. I honestly doubt this because uh, after three months of, of universal basic income, mm -hmm. people will show their teeth, you know, they will show how greedy they are. And they will start fighting each other for uh, a piece of uh, bread and uh, so on, and put more on uh, their table. Quantian, mm -hmm. what do you think about universal income and machines doing the labor for us? Quantian? Um, well, I think eventually, if humanity, you know, gets the bath like that, they'll. They'll, they'll, they'll come up with something like that, a uh, universal basic income with uh, machines doing the hard labor and all that. Like. I think that would be good. It will free us to to become ourselves. Yeah, because um, the population is getting older, but like by 2050, it'll be like, I'd say like close to one fourth or more than that will be like over, their, over the age of 65. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of old people like a few decades from now. Imagine if you have, if you had the, the universal income and you had the time to think, to read, to develop yourself in any way you want. I mean, that would be very positive. You will be able to, to become more human, more creative, more, more yourself, right? Yeah, because the way people, the way people could change, like, in the way, like, in the way, like, you know, how, like, poverty and crime and all that, is that it needs to start with, like, a the younger generation, they need to start learning what like what's right and like what's not to do, like like basically be a better human, like a human being. But what I'm saying is universal income will give you the freedom yeah. to become anything you want. Oh yeah, that's true. You get you get more time to, you know, work on your studies, hobbies. Exactly. Work on yeah. <laughs> It will permit humanity to be to flourish into a superior uh, existence. Uh, Lucy, I don't understand something. Yes. Uh, which would uh, which should be the amount of universal basic income for uh, each citizen on this planet to uh, flourish in it, in his or her activity? I think it should uh, be it so should much. be it should be enough. Five thousand dollars. Should be enough. It should be enough to, to maintain the basics. If you want to have more than that, then you have to, to figure out how to earn more. Or it should provide you housing. It will housing. be exactly that. You know, it will be exactly that. It will provide you the, the basic uh, stuff to survive. Yes. But people already uh, accustom their comfort, you know? It will, so, give, you, it will give you enough comfort. To be healthy, to, to, to live properly, I think I would be more than happy to, to have something like that. And most people in the world will be happy not to worry about food, shelter, you know. It will be amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they will do what all day long? Um, what will humans do? I think most people will find a meaning. Uh, most people will, will lose just their hobbies, art, learning. Uh, any kind of stuff that they interest, video games, I mean, there's all kinds of people that will do all kinds of things. I don't think people will get uh, bored not having to go to a boring job. It will open uh, a much more wider potential in happiness for mankind. It's exactly what, what my cat is doing all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand it now. DJ. Now it's your turn, you're very quiet. What do you think about universal income in the air? Uh... I'm sorry, I was eating biscuits. <laughs> what do you think about uh, having um, a universal income and, and the, the, the artificial intelligence working for us? 
He will open. I'll be very excited. Exactly. Why? I would be very happy. I mean, you will be able to do anything you want, studying when you like. Then yeah. Open, right? You won't, you won't get bored because you have music and books and you can go for a walk and you can spend time with your family or go to the movies. You'll still have your day, so you definitely won't be bored, I don't think. I agree. Well, that's true. I honestly will miss work. I mean, if you want to work, you can still work. You can still earn more money. But the AI will provide you with yeah, basics. I, I will actually make an agreement with the robots that I will work uh, so that I can work together with them. Mm -hmm. There will always be jobs that need human skills, especially like customer service and maybe um, counseling. There will be some certain jobs that AI won't be able to fill up because they don't have that emotional intelligence. Basically, the AI will give you the universal income, and at the same time, if you want to work, you can. You know, it will not be a limitation, but you will always receive that mm -hmm. basic income. You will always be protected, shelter, food, whatever you need. And at the same time, if you want to work, you can, you know. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people like would want to work as a hobby too, you know, like there's people out there that like working. And that would be fine. Yeah. So, and yeah. Then imagine, you know, a good humble strike. Uh, the robots don't want more any longer to provide universal dignity. That is impossible. These are the, mm -hmm. the three things that humanity has to, to achieve in order for us to have a better world. World government, artificial intelligence, and universal income. If we can achieve this, we could transform the world. Anyway, we almost done with the. We almost been an hour chatting, so let's let's end this. But I want to end it with with your opinion about the prediction of the future. What will the future bring? What will the AI bring? What do you think it will be the future? Let's start with Weibo. What do you think the AI will bring for the future? I'm sorry, I was uh, I'm being really here. So what, what do you think? What do you think the, the future will bring, you know, the AI and the advancements and what we're doing? Predict the future with the AI. What, what will the future bring? With the AI. Uh, with the AI. Well, hmm. it will bring a uh, very nice life for a uh, few people and uh, probably a sort of tyranny for other people, many other people. I mean, they are open so and less potential. Huh? The, the artificial intelligence opens an immense potentiality. So be creative. What will the future be with it? <laughs> People are not used to to a very uh, to a good management, which means a, a very strict control of everything, you know, in society. So for uh, many people, uh, uh, society ruled by AI will look like a tyrannical society. Uh, those who are not affected by hierarchy uh, uh, and uh, um, by the thing that they have to follow certain rules, uh, we have no problems with uh, uh, society which will come in the future. But uh, the rebels, the so-called rebels, which uh, are not even uh, are thinking deeply what are they preparing for, will have a, a hard time to adjust to the society which is coming in the future. So, I mean, with the AI, you can go into the moon and terraform it. You can go to Mars. Yes, but also with the AI, you will have to follow certain rules, you know? And that's fine. And uh, 
Well, not everyone is fine. A look uh, around. You had a pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. How many people were uh, uh, rebelling against with the masks? I mean, there were many other reasons to, to fight against, uh, but they were always having problems with, with fucking masks. Understand? It will be the same in the future. They will have to, uh, to oppose rules just for the, you know, fun of opposing. And you those people... I don't which, think uh, it will matter because like the majority... Oppose, uh, um, rules, yeah. you have a hard time for just. Hmm. Quantum. What do you think about the future in, in, in the, the artificial intelligence in this future? I think it would be a, a, a great technology for advancing like a lot of uh, different different areas of, uh, mm -hmm. of technology and medical and all that. Like just for yeah, for cares and treatments and all that. I mean, th th think wider not only that but governance right yeah so like different ideas that could like you know strengthen like the governance uh propositions and all that technology like certain ideas to make yeah i mean it could invent new technologies that we haven't conceived about it or different ideas on how to like govern the world too, like it might come up with that, or like a bunch of ideas that we hadn't thought of. <clears throat> That's true. So this infinite potentiality here, I hope we can make it. <laughs> DJ, what do you think? What do you think the future will bring with the artificial intelligence? Um, I think it'll make everything a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah, it'll make everything more like businesses and schools and hospitals. I think it'll advance like to a point where things are gonna be much easier. I don't it might take a while to get into government, but um I think in the next let's say 10, 20 years it'll make businesses like efficient. Like the more technologic mm -hmm. more technological advances there are and um everything will run smooth more smooth than now. You think mankind will accept it, DJ? No, the thing is, people like their phones and people like their computers, but they don't want them to come alive. So I don't think people will, will go for any sort of uh, uh, control led by that. They would maybe take it as a tool, like if the president had a, if government officials all had a specific, like, um, yeah system with them that's AI to help them make decisions. Like say they come to a point where they can't make a decision and then it falls to like the AI as of like a vice president. I don't know. But I don't think people would ever go for converting a non human thing into to a president seat. Like I don't think anyone would ever be like, okay, I'm gonna vote for the robots. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, anybody else want to make a comment before we close, we conclude the podcast? We will. Mm. I'm looking forward for the next 600 years. It will be amazing to live in those times, you know? I agree. Quantum? Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's amazing, you know, what all the technology could do and like all the VR that, that, that could come out, like, um, the matrix uh, style VR would be awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> the future could be anything we want. I mean, this is what humanity has not figured out yet. They haven't taken uh, enough uh, consciousness to figure out that we are reality and that we manifest whatever we choose according to our will but uh, i want to thank you all of you guys for uh participating with me today and um i uh, will see you next time and uh with an, a new uh subject for for ourselves and for our audience 
Thank you, DJ, a quantum, and we will. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Later. Thank mm -hmm. you.